Before uh, starting uh, painting anything, um, uh, first thing you need to, to think is, is about composition. Um, you need to have a plan, you need to, um, to see the different um, um, location you can paint and also um, you can you need to to, um, to choose the, the, the better place uh, with uh, contrast uh, with shadows uh, with elements so um, before uh, reaching this point I have been uh, walking around the river uh, from this uh, side from this side I went far away uh, and I decided to, to paint from this location because I am uh, into uh, in a bike lighting uh, so I prefer always uh, that the sun doesn't, um, is not uh, uh, on, on my paper so it's, it's very important to avoid the paper dries uh, too, um, uh, too much and uh, or it's, it's better to, to work uh, in, in a bag lighting uh, because all the time the paper is in the, in the same value. Uh, you don't have highlights, you don't have uh, um, uh, disturbing uh, shades on your paper, so that, that's the best uh, way to paint. Also, um, now it's um, 11, uh, 11 more in the morning, uh, so the sun, the light is not going to change too much. So more or less all the time I am going to have the same kind of light. Um, the, the bridge is going to be into the side and the sound is going to uh, round the bridge over it. Uh, all the time I'm going to uh, have the same kind of light. It's very important when you paint uh, in plein air um, because uh, if you choose a location that is going to change a lot, uh, it's very difficult to, um, uh, to, to decide um, which light is the better or which uh, kind of color are you going to use. So um, this, uh, this light and this place is going to remain uh, very standard. Uh, it's, go it's going to remain all the time in the, in the same way. This is about location, uh, about to, to choose the, the correct location. Here uh, I have a uh, background, I have a middle ground and also I have a foreground. I have uh, a bridge, a lovely bridge, I have uh, a, a beautiful river, I have a tree, so um, the, the full scene is, is very complete uh, and have, uh, has a lot of resource to, um, to paint and also uh, I have a lot of resource to, to explain you. Next thing uh, to do is to, to choose the, the composition. Um, first thing is to, uh, to decide, um, is to decide uh, where is going to be the horizon line. Um, horizon line um, shouldn't be uh, uh, just in the middle of, of the paper um, because uh, if you place the horizon line in the middle the, the composition is going to be uh, bored so it's better to, to use the, the rule of the, the golden rule of the uh, placing the, the horizon line in one third of the height of your paper of your of your board so I'm going to establish the horizon line uh, in this uh, place, more or less. Horizon line is the, the same line of my uh, eye view. So um, if, I, if I stand um, uh, on the floor, the horizon line uh, will go down. And if I climb uh, any, any mountain, uh, the horizon line will be higher. So in this case, um, the horizon line is just uh, on the same uh, level of my, of my site. Well, this is going to be the horizon line. The horizon line is important because uh, here we have uh, vanishing lines. We have uh, one of, of the sides of the, um, of the bridge. So uh, I need, I need a, a vanishing point uh, to, uh, to make uh, these lines. I'm, going to, I, I'm not going to count uh, all the stones uh, we have in the, in the bridge, of course. Uh, but I need some lines to uh, make an indication of, uh, of vanishing. So in this case it's, it's very important to, to have the, the location of the vanishing point. Even if we are work, uh, working in a natural um, landscape, uh, it's very important to, because all the elements are related with the horizon line, uh, even the, um, the waves of the, of the river. Um, I'm going to place the, the side of the bridge 
Uh, also, um, it's important to decide uh, where to place this, this, this line. It's going to be a lot of contrast um, against the background and the, and the bridge. So, uh, I have placed it, it more or less in one third, in one third of the width of the, um, of the paper. Uh, if I place this just in the middle, again, it's a very bored um, composition and with, uh, with no interest. So I'm going to put uh, more lines, all the lines um, around the, the arch of the bridge um, uh, are vanishing to, to this point. Uh, I'm going to draw the, the arch. Uh, in, this, uh, in this place uh, we have um, uh, infinity um, uh, options of composition. I, I have chosen uh, this one, but uh, you can uh, paint the full arch, you can uh, paint only the water without the bridge. So, uh, always there are uh, infinity ways of, of painting any, any subject. Well, all my lines are vanishing to this point. Here uh, we have a, a kind of of uh, of uh, aisle. There are a lot of uh, stones. The the bridge is very very ancient, very very old. Uh, so all the the stone around uh, is. Is from 18th century, so uh, the, the time has changed everything in this bridge. Well, uh, the bridge is uh, wider um, uh, on the on the bottom, so I am placing more uh, more stones here. Well, I'm going to establish also the, the line um, uh, that uh, make the, the change between the bridge and the, and the water. So, this is going to be the, the line. Be careful, all the lines should vanish to the, to the same point. Then uh, we will have here some grasses, some vegetation. And here uh, another plant. It's, it's also very interesting to paint this plant uh, because uh, it uh, breaks the, um, uh, the, um, the wall to avoid having all the time uh, rocks and, and stones. Well, uh, I'm going to paint uh, all the background now. Uh, the river is uh, is going in this direction. It's going to the right side. So I'm going to put uh, different uh, steps. It's like, like like steps because we have water uh, in front of the vegetation. Um, in the in the in the um, in the bottom at the bottom of uh, of each vegetation, we have to draw uh, a straight line. Okay, very st completely straight because it's far away and uh, it's, it has a uh, water. Uh, the water is always flat. Well, this is the another shore, the, the other shore of the of the river, of the Guadarrama uh, River. Okay, I'm going to paint this uh, to draw this tree. Again, I, I, I don't count the, the branches, I just put some of them, I indicate some branches. Here we have uh, more trees, closer trees, and uh, also we will see um, some part of the, of the sky. Okay. Here we have uh, in the other shore of the river we have uh, more vegetation. It's also uh, good to to close the composition. Uh, I will also paint uh, this even if it is um, 
uh, further, I am going to move a little bit this um, this big uh, bush um, to make a, a, a close. Okay, so we have the the direction of the river. We have here uh, some trees. Uh, Uh, background, middle ground, and here uh, at the foreground, uh, all the thing we are going to have is uh, is water. Um, I will put uh, here some uh, some rocks also at the foreground and some some grasses to avoid uh, this empty space because the, the river is making curves. Here we will have the reflection of, of the bridge. And here also we are going to have a, a shadow because all the bridge is uh, into the into the side. Here I'm going to paint uh, some rocks, some uh, sunken uh, rocks. to have uh, more uh, elements and more resource uh, to, to learn. Well, so I have closed the composition uh, also in the, at the bottom, at the foreground, so uh, this area is going to be connected. This is a dark area. We are going to have uh, light here. We are going to have highlights here in this area because the sun is reflecting uh, in this part. <clears throat> and uh, here we will have uh, a lot of uh, movement, a lot of waves, um, a big mass of, of water. Uh, there at the background uh, we have um, also waves, but, uh, but uh, all the waves at the background are completely flat. Uh, here we have um, like a, a snaky um, snaky shapes, snaky lines, and at the background we can see these uh, curves. Uh, we see everything completely uh, flat. I'm going to put uh, the bridge a bit, a bit higher. Again with my vanishing point. Uh, well, that's enough. The, uh, that's the that's the drawing. Um, um, everything is in the correct place. Uh, horizon line in one third. Um, big contrast of of the um, of the wall of the um, of, uh, of the bridge also in one third. And uh, we have a background, middle ground, um, and foreground. So uh, that's enough to to start painting.